A transformative period unfolded in theoretical physics during the 1940s and 1950s, highlighted by the birth of quantum electrodynamics, or QED for short. This groundbreaking theory, which explains the electromagnetic force between charged particles, emerged from the unique contributions of Richard Feynman, Julian Schwinger, and Tamonica Sinichiro. It didn't just unify our understanding of charged particle behavior and light, but also laid the bedrock for modern quantum field theory. In the year 1948, Richard Feynman introduced the world to his innovative path integral formulation. This was a process of summing over all possible paths a particle could take. Along with this concept came Feynman diagrams, a revolutionary visual tool that simplified the representation and calculation of particle interaction probabilities. Feynman's work was nothing short of a breath of fresh air in the theoretical landscape. At the same time, Julian Schwinger was hard at work crafting his operator-based formulation of QED. Released to the world in 1948, Schwinger's work provided a meticulous mathematical foundation. It was an approach equivalent to Feynman's path integral method, but offered a different perspective, enriching our understanding of particle interactions. On the other side of the world in Japan, Tomonaga Sinichiro was developing his own solution for managing the infinities that surfaced in QED calculations. His technique, which we now call renormalization, addressed these mathematical challenges, ensuring that calculations produced finite and meaningful results. The contribution from Tamanaga played a crucial role in resolving many theoretical complexities. One of the most beautiful aspects of QED is the unity of these diverse approaches. The visual language of Feynman, the operator-based methods of Schwinger, and the renormalization techniques of Tomonaga all blended seamlessly. The equivalence of their formulations underscored the robustness and coherence of this emerging theory. The success of QED wasn't limited to theory, it was also confirmed through precision experiments such as the measurement of the electron's magnetic moment. These experiments showcased an extraordinary alignment between the theoretical predictions derived from QED and the observed values. This experimental endorsement solidified QED's standing as a cornerstone in theoretical physics. In 1965, the collective genius of Feynman, Schwinger, and Tomonaga was recognized with the Nobel Prize in Physics for their independent contributions to the formulation of QED. This accolade underscored the collaborative nature of scientific advancement, celebrating the convergence of brilliant minds on a shared understanding of fundamental forces. Quantum electrodynamics, the brainchild of Feynman, Schwinger, and Tomonaga, has become a pinnacle achievement in theoretical physics. Their work not only unraveled the intricacies of the electromagnetic force, but also laid the groundwork for quantum field theories describing other fundamental forces. The principles of QED continue to underpin the standard model of particle physics, guiding our exploration of the quantum realm. The emergence of quantum electrodynamics in the mid-20th century was a triumph in the field of theoretical physics. Through their independent yet converging efforts, Richard Feynman, Julian Schwinger and Tomonaga Sinichiro illuminated the complex dance between charged particles and light. Their united formulations under the umbrella of QED reshaped our understanding of fundamental forces and charted the course for a new era in theoretical physics.